All right, so hands on your knees. Let's go ahead and tuck in. So pull the belly in. And then inhale, come up tall. But I have that natural curve. So exhale, pull the navel to the spine, tuck in. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Good. Exhale and roll down. Good. Inhale, we'll just come to a tall seated position. Just two more times. Exhale, tucking down, rolling through, pulling the navel to the spine. Inhale, sitting up tall. And last time. Exhale, tucking in, navel to spine. Inhale, sitting up tall. Now let's go ahead and add the arms. So I want you to bring your arms out to the side. So you know the motion now with the hips. We're not, we're just really doing more of a pelvic tilt, right? So the arms are out wide. You're gonna exhale, tuck in, and then inhale, lift the chest. Good, exhale and tuck in. Inhale, lift the heart. Still sending energy up through the crown of your head. Exhale, tuck in. Now you can tuck the chin in. Inhale and lift the chest. A couple more times. Exhale, rounding. So we're getting that upper back too. All right. So round the shoulders, open up those shoulder blades, and now lift the heart. And now the shoulder blades come a little bit together. So tuck in. Inhale and lift. Big deep breath, exhale out, inhale, lift, exhale, tuck, inhale, lift. Couple more times, exhale, tuck, inhale, and lift. And one more time, exhale, tuck, and inhale, lift. Good, bring your hands on the ball. And what we'll do is we're, we'll do what's called the saw. Now, I want you to take and move your ball back of your mat. Take your feet out just a little bit wide, right? So the feet are a little bit wider than your hip points. So the arms are in a T, and now you're going to keep the knees bent here, right? So you're going to rotate your left hand, and you're going to bring it down saw for three, two, one, inhale and lift. Good. Turn and saw for three, two, one. Inhale, bend your knees and lift. Now you're gonna straighten both legs. Saw for three, two, one. Inhale and lift. Now straighten the both legs. Saw for three, two, one. Inhale, bend your knees and lift. Good, straighten the legs. Saw for three, two, one. Inhale, lift. And now when you're sawing, you're straightening the legs, you're twisting, coming outside the pinky toe. Saw for three, two, one. Inhale, bend your knees. Last time, one on each side. So straighten the legs, turn and saw for three, two, one. Inhale and lift. Last time to the left, straighten the legs. Saw for three, two, one. Inhale, bend your knees. Perfect. Bring your hands on the ball. Bring your feet under your knees. Very good. So let's do a little side bending. Bring your right hand up to your ear. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, lean into that side stretch. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale and release. So left arm reaching up. Exhale. Bring the arm straight up, exhale and release. Good, right arm coming up, exhale, lean, keep the belly strong, inhale up tall, exhale and release. Good, left arm coming up, exhale, inhale up tall, exhale, release. Good, inhale, right arm reaching, exhale over the side of the face, Good, pull the belly in, toll the center. Exhale and release. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, stretch it over. Inhale, come up tall. Exhale, release. So now changing it just a little bit. Right arm reaching up. Exhale, extending over. Good, inhale, coming up. And now let's wrap the arm around so you're touching your left ear. And go ahead and draw the right ear to the 
right shoulder. Ooh, tight there. Let the shoulders really soften and relax. Take three full breaths. One more inhale. As you exhale, release your hand. Let's take that left arm, reach it up towards your ear. Exhale, reach it up and over, stretching through the side body. Hold it just for a moment, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna wrap the arm around the top of the head, drawing the left ear to the left shoulder. And just notice the difference be between the right and left side. That you can close your eyes if you wanna challenge your balance. Take three breaths. Good, one more inhalation. As you exhale, release that hand down. Let's come into our first twist. So inhale, reach both arms up. Think of your spine really getting tall. Start to rotate this right shoulder back and turn into that twist. So inhale, elongate your spine, exhale and rotate. So inhale, lengthen, exhale and twist. And one more time, inhale, grow tall, exhale, rotate. Now you're gonna take one more full breath, and as you exhale out, go ahead and unwind, bring your hands to your knees, but get to the center. Hands on the ball, inhale, reach the arms up into that V, pull the tummy in, and start to rotate that left shoulder back, float the hands down into the twist. Inhale, elongate your spine, Exhale and rotate. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale and twist. And one more time. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale and rotate. Good. Take one more full breath. And you'll slowly come out of your twist hands onto your knees. Good. So hold on to the side or the back of the ball. And let's go ahead and march. March right and left. So it's eight and seven, six and five. Here's four, three, two, and one. It's eight and seven, six and five. Good, four, three, two, and one. It's eight and seven, six and five. Good, four, three, two, and one. You can smile, it's eight, and seven, six, and five. Here's four, three, two, and one. It's eight, and seven, six, and five. Here's four, three, two, good job. It's eight, and seven, six, and five. Here's four, three, two, and one. Two more, it's eight, and seven, six and five. Here's four, three, two, and one. It's eight and seven, six and five. Here's four, three, two, and now you're gonna kick. It's kick and kick. So it's eight and seven, six and five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. It's eight and seven, six, and five. Here's four, three, two. Now arms come out, be careful. Eight and seven, six and five, four, three, two. Do one more set. It's eight and seven, six and five. Good, four, three, two. And last one, excellent. All right, woohoo, as Bob would say, right? So a little bounce, here we go. Oh, take a big deep breath. I think I was holding my breath there for a moment. All right, power walk those arms. So here we go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, more. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're going to change it. It's one, two, three, small lift. Seven, two, three, and lift. It's six, two, three, and lift. Five, two, three, and lift. Good. Four, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, and lift. It's two, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, again. It's eight, two, three, and lift. Seven, two, three, and lift. It's six, two, three, and lift. Five, two, three, and lift. Good. Four, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, and lift. It's two, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, again. It's eight, two, three, and lift. Seven, two, three, and lift. It's six, two, three, and lift. Five, two, three, and lift. Good. Four, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, and lift. It's three, two, three, and lift. Two, two, three, last one. And take two, three, and lift. Seven, two, three, and lift. It's six, two, three, and lift. Five, two, three, and lift. Good. Four, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, and lift. It's two, two, three, and lift. Three, two, three, and rest. Woohoo! Good job, you guys. Walk the feet wide. Go ahead and do a nice little circle. Take a big deep breath in and exhale it all out. And exhale out. Good, nice rotation here for the hips. Hopefully that's feeling okay for your hip, Alice. And also really good for the low back. So let's go ahead and circle in the opposite direction. Good job. A couple more circles. And here's that last one. Excellent. All right. So walk your feet carefully together. Let's get your weights. Okay. Got your weights? Got your milk cans? <laughs> like the milkmaid? All right. So getting silly now. All right. So take those shoulders back. Rotate your palms forward. Keep a really nice soft grip on that weight. Draw the elbows in and sit tall, all right? Pull the navel towards the spine. Bicep curl here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. It's eight and seven, good, six, and five, four, three, good, two, and one more set, it's eight, and seven, good, six, and five, it's four, three, good, two, and last one, go ahead and rest, bring the arms down, and we'll go ahead and rotate your palms back. So we'll do a frontal ray. You're gonna draw that arm up slowly, hold, and then release. So we're gonna go for eight, seven, six, five, four, stay tall, three, abs are on, two, and one second set, it's eight, seven, good, six, 
and five. It's four, three, two, and one. We got one more set, hang. Here's eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, good, two, and last one. Nice job. So now both arms coming up. So inhale, lift, even to the shoulders, hold, exhale, inhale and lift, abs are on, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, slowly down. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Two more times. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift. And now exhale, release. Just relax those shoulders down, coming out to the side, all right? Mainly the thing you wanna do is not to let these shoulders ride up. Keep, the, keep those shoulder blades, the scapula down, all right? So out to the side, chest is lifting. You're gonna soften those elbows and draw it out even to the shoulder and then release. So listen to your, um, actually, the deltoid, right? The, uh, so here we go for eight, seven, good. Here's six and five, it's four, good. Three, it's two, abs are on, and one, second set, it's eight and seven, Good, six and five. It's four, three, good, two, and one more set. Let's do one more set. Here's eight, woohoo, and seven. Good, six, five, it's four, three, good, two, and last one. Very nice. All right. Good work. Now we'll um, come into our triceps. So either one way or you're going to take two ways. Bring the arms up. Elbows come in a little bit towards the sides of your face. You're going to keep lifting up through the crown of your head and navel is pulled in towards the spine. So very nice and slow, pushing it up for eight, seven, stay tall, six, five, four, three, good, two, and one, second set, it's eight, seven, six, five, here, four, and three, good, two, and one more set, we've got it, here's eight, and seven, good, six, and five, it's four, and three, here's two, and last one. Nice work. Boy, that was great. Let's stretch, okay? So um, carefully bring your weights back to the floor, away from your mat. Good, so um, be safe. Get on the ball safely. And uh, let's go ahead and take that right arm back. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, draw the arm across the top of the chest. And bring your chin over to the right shoulder, taking at least three deep breaths. Now go ahead and take that top arm 
bring the hand over your shoulder, your left shoulder, and then you're just very gently um, bringing that arm a little more back. So you're patting yourself on the back for a good job. Take three more breaths. Very nice, and release that hand down. Let's bring it up to the middle of your back, stretching your tricep. Good, three deep breaths. Very slowly release that, and now let's um, take that left arm, reach it back, into a really nice twist. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, draw the arm across the top of the chest. Bring your chin to that shoulder. Now bending that hand so you're patting yourself on the back. Let's draw that arm just a little bit more back so we get a deeper stretch. But don't, um, again, don't strain, don't force. Take three more breaths. Very good. Release that hand down. Bring it right to the middle of your back. Hold on to that elbow. Tricep stretch. Good, one more deep breath in. As you exhale out, go ahead and release your hands down to the ball. Very carefully, let's, um, let's go ahead and sit. <clears throat> All right, and we're gonna hold onto the ball with your knee and, and hold on to the back of your um, hamstrings. I might even move a little bit closer. I got two mats here so you can see better. Okay, um, hold on to the back of your legs. Sit up tall, pull the navel in. Start to tuck the chin in and round the spine. So rounding down very slowly, very carefully. Good, all right. So um, let's just go ahead and relax the legs over the top of the ball. Rest your head to the floor. Good, and, and really relax that low back into the mat. It feels so good right now. Bring your arms out into a T, and you're digging your heels into the ball, so you're pushing the ball up towards your sit bones. Now you'll roll the knees to the right. Ooh, nice, just go a quarter of the way down, and then come back to center and to the other side. Beautiful, keep your shoulders anchored. So inhale to center, exhale, Good, inhale back to center, and now to your left. Good, pull the belly into center, drop the knees to one side. Good, and you can, you can just go at your own pace. If some of you wanna go a little bit faster than this, um, you're welcome to. And we'll do one more set of eight, so you're, you're still working. You're still working through these obliques, right? They're, they're controlling this movement here. Good, here's six. And five. Ooh, got a little adjustment there. Here's three. Good, two. And let's do, let's do one more to the other side. Make it all even. All right, come all the way back. Bring your feet on top of the ball, all right? So um, I like to bring my feet together on this one. It's just we're gonna bridge up. So walk the, the ball a little bit close to the, the buttocks and the arms are resting down to your side. You're gonna tuck the chin in, take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, you're gonna come into your imprint. You're gonna scoop. And press your feet down as you lift your hips up. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to slowly roll down through the middle of the back, right? And all the way down 
to the sacrum. Excellent. Keeping those knees together. Don't let them open out. All right, so deep inhale. Exhale, pull the navel to the spine. Press your feet down into the ball as you lift your hips up and hold. Keep the belly strong. Now roll down through your shoulder blades, through the back of the rib cage, through that mid back, and now the low back. Nice. Just a couple more times. Inhale deeply. Exhale into your pelvic tilt. Keep your belly pulled into the spine. Press your feet down into the ball and lift. Good, take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly articulate down through that spine. This is so good for your abs, but excellent for your, for flexibility for your back. One more time, deep inhale, exhale, scoop. Good, press feet into the ball, lift the hips up, hold, take an inhale, Exhale, slowly articulate down through that spine. Good, let's release your hamstrings, woo! Right, those hamstrings are working. Good, so we'll get right into our Pilates hundreds, all right? We haven't done the hundreds here on the ball, but I thought we would add it in today. Remember, you can rest anytime you need to. You don't have to do the whole thing. The hundreds can be pretty intense. You'll feel it, especially if you're doing in the correct form, right? And the arms are not flowy. They're really strong and pumping so that you're working through your upper back, your rhomboids, all right? So we're gonna grab our ball. <laughs> You'll love this. <laughs> you're gonna grab your ball and pick it up. So you're holding and you're squeezing that ball in. You're gonna, um, the knees can be a little bent, right? So pull the belly and get the legs right over your hips and your arms are out to the side. Now either you can choose to, you know, lift the head and chest up or keep the head and chest down. You're still gonna get good core work, all right? So take an inhale. As you exhale, lift. Pump for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Inhale, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Two more. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. And rest. Bend your knees. Nice work, you guys. <sighs> All right. I knew you would love those hundreds, right? So we're going to do um, what's called the crisscross. This is a new one, and we're going to do it slow. Where you guys are going, oh gosh. <laughs> She's torturing us today. No, it's, it's all right. We'll do it slow. And, and the way it goes, we'll just do the legs at first, all right? So you're gonna straighten out your right leg as that left knee stays pulled in. Then you bring the ball back up. You're gonna straighten out the left leg and now the right knee is pulled in. You bring it together. So your feet are here. You're gonna straighten the right leg. Left knee is pulled in. Bring it back together. And now the left leg straightens out. So here you are, your hands are on your knees. So we'll only do a couple of them because I'm just showing you it's new. So you're gonna cross your left elbow to your right knee. Now come down and now the right leg, right elbow to left knee, bring the feet together. Good, left leg pushes out, crisscross. Bring your feet together. Good, right leg extends, right elbow to left knee. Good, bring it together. Good, cross. 
and together. Good, cross, and together. Good, a few more times, one more time. Cross, and together. Good, cross, and together. Last two, good, cross, and together, and cross, and together. Good work, you guys. Let's go ahead and um, grab your, your strap. I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you. I'm gonna just go, going to crawl over and get mine. Good, all right, let's stretch out those legs. Thank you for, for hanging in there for a couple of new Pilates moves, right? Give yourself a little pat. So let's go ahead and do the right leg first. So bring your right knee in, take your strap around that right foot. And let's flex that right foot, straighten out that leg, pull into the squad and feel the stretch all the way through the back of the leg. Now, um, Go ahead and flex your left foot too. That way we get the calf stretch in this one. And you're get, you can choke up on that strap a little bit. Start to use your breath to relax into it. So take at least three to five breaths. Good, one more big deep breath. Let's take that leg out to the side. Try, try to keep the opposite hip down so our, we're not tilting um, our hips. Reach your left arm across the floor. Good, take five full breaths. Very good, one more inhalation. Now as you exhale, draw that leg up. Let's do your IT band stretch. So bring that heel across the midline, reach your right arm across the floor. Good, rotate that big toe down. Very good, one more cleansing breath. Now go ahead and bend your right knee. You're gonna roll the ball up towards you. Get your whole left foot on the ball as you come into that upside down four. Go ahead and flex your right foot. And if you'd like, that right hand into the right inner thigh. Just a little bit. But this is where you really wanna come into your breath and relax. Very nice, take your right foot on that ball. And we'll go ahead and push the ball away with the right heel. Keep that left knee into your chest and take the, the um, strap. The band works great too, I like them both actually. And straighten out that leg, just very gently drawing the leg towards you. Draw the kneecap up and pull into the squad. You can again walk your hands up if you'd like. Really flex that foot so we get right into the, the meat of that um, calf. Nice job, take one more deep breath. 
And as you exhale out, take the leg slowly out to the side. So you can take your right arm also across the floor and turn the head away. Good, one more big deep breath. Engage into the abdominals and draw the leg up. Grab your strap and bring it across the midline. So big toe rotated down. Reach your left arm across the floor. Very good, one more cleansing breath. You're gonna bend your left knee, roll the ball up towards you. So your whole foot is on that ball. Keep your left foot flexed. And that just really is an alignment. It really keeps that knee um, a little more safe, actually. Relax your head and neck down. Good, and just a um, very gentle, when you push that knee away a little bit. You'll start to feel it into the, into the gluteus and into that piriformis, which that piriformis we really want to stretch. Very nice. One more big deep breath. And go ahead and bring your foot on that ball. Let's move the ball off to the side. And you're gonna roll towards the ball and push up. Very good. So let's come into child's pose. Um, that is a great way to stretch the upper back. So you can choose your child's pose. Either you're gonna take the knees out wide, do a wide knee child's pose, or you can draw the knees together. Now the difference, when you go more with the wide knees, that'll get a little more into the outer glutes, uh, the buttocks. Um, when you bring the knees together, it actually, I, actually you, you're stretching your spinal column a little more. Okay, so tr try them both ways and see which one you like. All right, so roll the ball out and then lay that torso down and spread the fingers really wide. And now roll the ball back up. You're going to stand on your knees. And we're going to do, um, in Pilates, they call this, um, you know, a short plank. Um, but we'll combine kind of a little bit of a child's pose into a short plank. So you stand up on your knees, right? And your elbows, your forearms are on here. So what we're doing, I, I'm interlocking my fingers, but you can just have both forearms on the ball. And you're straightening out, dropping the hip, right? And then you're pulling back, actually. And then come up, drop the hip just a little bit, and then rolling back. Now, keep the belly, when you drop those hips, keep the belly strong, all right? So you're coming forward, you're dropping that hip a little bit, so it's like a half plank, and then you're just coming back. So we are engaging, you're working, but we're stretching at the same time. So come up, drop the hip, good. Push down as you roll back. It's a lot harder than what it looks, right? So press the elbows down, drop the hips, pull the belly in as you roll back. Good, and just one more time. Come forward, drop your hips, Good, and all the way back. So the abs need to stay engaged so that the back doesn't over uh, get stretched, all right? So let's go ahead and um, 
stand back up on our knees, take your ball over to the left corner of your mat and slide the right foot forward. Take that ball, reach it up and over the top of your head. Good, take the ball back down. Hands on top of the ball, slide your right foot back. Take the ball over to the right corner and bring your left foot forward, low lunge. Sink into that nice hip flexor stretch. Take your ball, reach it over the top of your head. Very good, one more full breath. And now drop the ball down. I'm gonna have you flex your back foot. You're gonna stand up. Okay, so let's go ahead, get rid of your strap. We've got 10 more minutes, so I really would like to do um, just a couple of yoga poses here. So walk your feet really wide. And let's go ahead and do our downward dog, which is a wide straddle down dog. Again, another great one that stretches the whole body. So roll the ball towards me, hands on the ball, and drop the head down, rolling your weight back into your heels. Take at least five breaths. Now roll the ball up. Let's go ahead and turn to your right and we're going to come into a crescent lunge. Now anytime you can keep the back foot down if you wish. So otherwise pick the back heel up, you know, hang on to the ball until you feel like you've got your balance and then grab that ball, reach it over the crown of your head. Very good, one more full breath. Take the ball back down. Let's go ahead and roll it to the left. So make sure you're pivoting on your heel, pick that back heel up. Stay really strong. So a lot of times I tend to bend my knee, but I, I really like you to push back out through that heel. So pull this thigh back, find your balance, square off your hips to the front of your mat, and bring the ball up and over the crown of your head. Very good, one more breath. And now go ahead and bring the ball all the way down. Pivot around. Good, so step your feet together. And we're gonna sit on the ball. Now we're going to do a half rollback on this ball, but we'll include a little bit of the upper back for, with this, all right? So make sure your feet are really grounded. They, they're not gonna slip off of the ball. So you're going to start out with the arms a little bit out, and you're gonna tuck in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into that mid back, Reach the arms overhead. Good, pull that belly in, come up. All right, <laughs> here's the other part, right? You're gonna straighten the legs and reach forward. So forward reaching stretch. So bend your knees, keep the abdominals pulled in, tuck in, so get into the mid back, reach the arms overhead. Good, tuck the chin in. Come up to seated, all right? Straighten the legs, forward reaching stretch. Good, bend the knees. You can readjust the feet, right? Get them grounded, all right? <laughs> Tuck in, roll back. Reach the arms overhead. Good, come all the way up. Woo, all 
the way up, sit up tall, straighten those legs, forward reaching stretch. And just one more time, bend the knees. Good, pull the navel in, tuck in, roll back, take your time. When you're ready, you can just come to sleepwalk if you want, or you can reach the arms over the head. Good, and then come back, tuck the chin in. Good, so we're gonna stay here, right? You're gonna bring your arms either behind your head and come a little bit forward so you, you start to lift your hips up a little bit so the buttocks is not on the ball. A little bit more of your shoulders. If some of you wanna come into like a little bit of a cartwheel, now be careful here. You're gonna get your, your um, back a little bit more over and if you want, you can start to bring the hands down towards the floor. Good, hands behind your head. All right, you guys are safe, right? Tuck the chin in. Start to drop your hips down, roll out to the side and grab your ball. Come into Suasana and bring your hands to your heart. Take a small bow of your chin. The light in me salutes that light in you and together we say namaste. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. It was such fun.